Hi everyone. In this video, let us discuss ursodeoxycholic acid. What is this drug ursodeoxycholic acid? Actually, this is one of the bile acid supplement. This ursodeoxycholic acid is a derivative of quinodeoxycholic acid, which is the natural bile acid present within the body. But this ursodeoxycholic acid, which is also known as ursodiol, is an external bile acid supplement which is well known as UDCA. This ursodeoxycholic acid can be given to treat the gallstones. These gallstones are rich in cholesterol which produce cholesterol cholelithiasis. The formation of gallstones can stimulate another condition primary biliary cirrhosis. In this condition we can observe the narrowing of bile ducts, formation of gallstones which reduce the biliary secretion and increase the biliary pain. Finally, it can also affect the liver, resulting in the cholestatic cirrhosis. For all these conditions, the main reasons are the decrease in the biliary flow and increase in the formation of gallstones. In such conditions, ursodeoxycholic acid can be given to reduce the gallstone formation as well as to increase the biliary secretion. So today in this video, we are going to see what is the chemical nature of this compound, how it is given, how it acts, how it reduces the gallstone formation, what are the important side effects, all these things we will discuss in this video. First of all, it is the chemical nature of this drug. So this is the structure of ursodeoxycholic acid. You can see it is having steroidal nucleus with 24 carbons. So it is a colonic acid derivative. And carboxylic acid is present at the 24th position so we can write the suffix as choline 24 oic acid that's why they are simply called as cholic acids and this ursodeoxycholic acid is having the hydroxyl groups at third and seventh position so we can write this as 37 dihydroxy so ursodeoxycholic acid is the 37 dihydroxy choline 24 oic acid derivative now let us see how this drug acts. Within the intestine, the absorption of fatty compounds is mainly facilitated by the gallbladder which stores primary bile acids. These primary bile acids are hydrophobic in nature and they are secreted into the intestine where they are going to be modified by gut bacteria to produce secondary bile acids. So ursodeoxycholic acid is a secondary bile acid which is produced within the intestine by the bacteria within the gut wall. Now at the ileum, these secondary bile acids can act on the micellase which are rich in the cholesterol. These secondary bile acids are hydrophilic in nature. They can interact with these micellase and they can dissolve the cholesterol. In this way, the micellase formation is somewhat reduced by UDCA. Similarly, this ursodeoxycholic acid can also interact with the cholesterol moieties such that they are not absorbed easily through the intestine. So their intestinal absorption is reduced, which reduces the deposition of cholesterol into the gallstones, thereby to reduce the formation of gallstones. In this way, ursodeoxycholic acid can dissolve the cholesterol as well as it can prevent the formation of gallstones. Similarly, at the hepatocytes, again it plays an important role. Within the hepatocytes, the primary bile acids can increase the apoptosis because they are hydrophobic in nature. So, excessive increase in the primary bile acids within the hepatocytes will stimulate the apoptosis, which results in the hepatic cirrhosis. Now, UDCA is a hydrophilic bile acid supplement. It can replace the primary bile acids within the hepatocytes, which reduce the apoptosis. In this way, UDCA plays an anti-apoptic action by reducing the hydrophobic bile acids within the hepatocytes. Similarly, UDCA can also increase the bile acid secretion, which reduces the gallstone formation, thereby increase the biliary flow. By all of these actions, UDCA can reduce the gallstones, as well as it can also reduce the primary biliary cirrhosis. What are the precautions? This drug should be carefully given in the bleeding of varices or patients with any hepatic encephalopathy, in the patients with immediate liver transplantation, or acid formation in these conditions 
this ursodeoxycholic acid should be carefully given what are the side effects the important side effects are mainly related with gastrointestinal system so it can produce abdominal pain asthenia lack of energy dyspepsia anorexia loss of appetite it can also produce some esophagitis inflammation of the esophagus and alopecia loss of hair pruritus and finally it can also produce some peripheral edema resulting in a swelling of legs can also be observed with this ursodeoxycholic acid how it is given this drug is available as tablet at different strengths such as 250 mg and 500 mg the dose of the drug is individualized based on the patient conditions for the treatment of pbc primary biliary cirrhosis it is given at a dose range of 13 to 15 mg per kg per day and this can be given as divided doses either two times daily or four times daily for dissolution of the gallstones this drug is given at a dose of 8 to 10 mg per kg per day again given as divided doses but for prophylaxis and for prevention of gallstones this drug is given at a dose of 300 mg given twice daily so all these are the adult doses the pediatric doses are individualized based on the body weight and other conditions so that's about this drug ursodeoxycholic acid which is simply known as ursodiol or udca which acts as a secondary bile acid thereby to reduce the formation of gallstones it dissolves the cholesterol within the micellase so it reduces the micellar formation and it also reduces the absorption of cholesterol within the ileum it can also replace the hydrophobic bile acids within the hepatocytes which reduce the apoptosis and finally it improves the bile acid secretion all this can reduce the gallstone formation as well as biliary cirrhosis so that's about this supplement ursodeoxycholic acid that's for today hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please subscribe to our channel share this video with your friends post your comment in the comment box thank you for watching this video